Welcome to today's video. I apologize, I don't have an onboard mic. So this is the camera's internal mic. Today we're talking about how to set up the touch screen on your Fuji X-C4 to swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right, all those things to control four special functions. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. Today I'm gonna to show you how I set up my touch screen on the Fuji X-C4. And so what you need to do is go into menu, and you're gonna go all the way down to the wrench menu and you're look for screen setup. Now in the screen setup, you'll notice there's all sorts of controls over brightness um, and how you want to see the screen, uh, F-Log view assist, all those things, but you don't see a way to set up uh, what the controls are on the touch screen. So you need to go to button dial setting. And when you get to bo button dial setting, you're going to go to touch screen setting all the way at the bottom of page two. And when you go over to touch screen setting, you said turn, you can set it to on or off. So I have mine on and you're going to go to touch function on or off. Yeah, I have mine on and then touch screen setting on or off. You can also, uh, control what area of the screen is sensitive. I have mine to the right half side which I find is useful because that's how I hold my camera with that hand. And now we're gonna get into those settings. All right, so we're gonna start by hitting menu and then you have movie, image quality, autofocus sound, um, TC, which is time code, and then the wrench menu. The wrench menu, you're gonna go over and you might think it's under screen setup, but if you look through all three pages there, it's like things like brightness, F-Log assist, and I'll do another video on this, but right now we want to set up how to touch the screen to control certain custom functions. So you go under button dial setting, even though it's not a button, it's not a dial. And then you're going to look for the function setting and you go to the right with the toggle lever and you'll see here, it'll highlight the cue, the function. And I've set uh, those up already. So touch function one, you can see is a green arrow indicating a swipe up. Now you have a selection, there's seven pages of things to choose, but I'll just tell you what I find is useful. I find it useful when I swipe up, I want to change the focus mode and I'll show you what that is. When you're shooting and you swipe up, then you can change from manual focus, uh, continuous autofocus or autofocus single. So I find this is easy to get a manual focus for those tricky shots where I need some control. All right, let's go back into the menu, go back to wrench. You're going to learn this. We're going to do it four times, button dial setting, function setting, and here we go to touch function two, swipe left. So I have that set to shutter type, and I'll show you what I mean by that. When I swipe left, then I get a choice between mechanical shutter, which means it makes that noise, uh, or electronic shutter, which means it's silent shutter, or it's mechanical until it can no longer uh, function at that speed and it needs to switch to electronic for faster shutters. So I have shutter type set to swipe left. All right, let's dive back into the menu. Let's go over to wrench, button dial setting, function setting. All right, now we're gonna go down to, this is uh, the third, uh, I have it set to autofocus mode. So when we're on the back screen, we swipe right. When we swipe right, you can choose single point, which is the the mode I love to shoot in, uh, zone or wide tracking or all. And so I have it set to single point because I like that precision of being able to pick the exact point I want. Back for our fourth and final, we go to the wrench menu, button dial setting, function menu, and you'll see touch function four, I have it set to face detection on or off. And again, this is about that precision control. If I want face detection off, I just swipe down. If I want it back on, I swipe up. And that's how easy it is. If this video is helpful, please subscribe. Please give it a like. Leave me a comment and let me know, do you use the touchscreen function on your Fuji X-E4?